Welcome to the first video of the development tutorials with LibGDX. In this video, we are going over the installation process for setting up your game development environment. For those who are unfamiliar with LibGDX, LibGDX is a Java cross-platform game development framework uh, built upon OpenGL ES. You can create games on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and your web browser. Uh, for those who want to follow along in this video, I will have the link to this main page in the description. Uh, their documentation, I find, is very easy um, to understand if you are new to game development. They also have um, simple game tutorials, as well as YouTube videos and their Discord server. Please feel free to use the ID of your choice. Uh, for me, I'm going to be using IntelliJ. Uh, you can also use Android Studio. I'll put the links in the description for both of these web pages. Uh, the reason why I'm using IntelliJ is because I find it uh, very easy to use and I'm more familiar with it. But I know a couple others who use uh, Android Studio, um, easy access for uh, Android development as well as for creating just applications in general. Now LibGDX does have a step-by-step -step, uh, development uh, environment setup tutorial that you can follow on their main page. Um, you can uh, have a tutorial set up for Android Studio and IntelliJ, as well as download the um, Android SDK and Robo VM plugin for IntelliJ. All right, once on this page, uh, go to generate a project. Click the download button, the screen download button. After downloading, uh, you should see this jar file saying GDX setup.jar. You want to double click the jar file. After you double clicked it, uh, you should see this UI menu. Um, this right here is actually going to be your project generator. This is where you're actually going to um, shoot your project for. So what these basic settings are for your project is you have the project name. This is where your actual name for your project uh, it can be uh, any name, uh, uppercase, lowercase space in between. Uh, you have your package name. This right here is actually going to be your reference to your module files. Uh, you cannot have a space in between them. Um, and also try to keep it lowercase to make it more easier. Um, you also have the game class right here. Uh, this right here is where your entry point to your uh, game class to launch up. Uh, make sure there's no space in between. You can have them uppercase as you can see. Um, this right here is your output folder. This is where your project is going to uh, lie out on your computer. Uh, you have your Android SDK. This is where your SDK resources are going to be located at. Um, you have your supported versions. You have desktop, Android, iOS, and HTML, which is web browser. You have uh, official extensions like Bullet and Box 2D Lights. Um, for this project, I'm going to be including all of these extensions, so we can go ahead and click all of them. Um, the supported platforms I'm going to be targeting is going to be desktop, LWJGL3, so we can uh, unclick these. Um, the project name, uh, you want to give your name of your project. That's going to be tutorial, tutorial space game. Um, you also want to give the package name. So we can uh, put down right where my GDX would be dot tutorial game. All right. And then you have your game class. This right here is going to be tutorial game again, but again, no space. Um, the project uh, directory, you want to hit browse, um, find the project directory that you're going to be located at. All right, please note that once you find the project directory uh, located on your machine, this is where all your files is going to be at. It's going to be hard to uh, move this, so make sure this is all set in stone and um, that you want this to be stored on your disk. Um, after when editing the settings, you want to click generate. After a build uh, successful, as you can see, is done. That means your project has been ge successfully generated. If you get any errors within this um, console, uh, you might want to redo the project again. Um, now let's head over to IntelliJ. Once you have IntelliJ all loaded up and, or installed, you should see this window. This right here is where you're going to have your project listed at. I'm going to drag and drop my project uh, directory into this window. As you can see, Gradle will start doing a whole bunch of setting configuration. Uh, we'll wait until this is done. All right, as you can see, we have a build successful. Um, LitGDX, one more thing that we do have to set up is the run configuration. So IntelliJ went ahead to current file 
edit run configurations, ha add new application, give the name of your application. In our case, that's going to be tutorial game. Um, then you want to choose your Java platform, Java 17, your module type, which is tutorial game main. And then you want to choose the class directory, which is desktop launcher. As you can see, it pops up and then click apply. Okay. And now we test to see if our red configuration works. All right. If you do everything correctly, you should see this window with bad logic games. That means you edit your run configurations successfully. All right. Once your uh, project build system is all set up and complete and your run configurations, um, now it's time to take a look at the project structure. So first of all, we have the assets folder. This right here is where it's going to contain all your game textures, models, JSON files, settings, um, majority of the time for your game. Um, as you can see, we have the bad logic games that was just displayed on the window. The next uh, module path is the core. This right here is the majority going to be all your code for your game. Um, as you can see, this here is the code to display the image up to the window. Um, as well, have the modules to that class. Um, the next we have desktop. Desktop, this is where your entry point to your game. Uh, desktop launcher, as just explained in the um, run configurations and the module path. Um, we have also a couple other files like Gradle settings, um, Gradle properties as well as some more Gradle settings that we'll cover later in uh, future tutorials. Um, but once you have this structure all nice and set up, you should be ready to start developing your game. And all right, everybody, that covers everything in this video. I hope you find this uh, helpful for you. Uh, next tutorial, we'll explain more about the code that is written here, as well as showing a, rendering a texture to the screen and um, explaining what it does and how to edit it.